welcome to another very quick plan mecha tech tips. Uh, this time we're going to be going over manually aligning a pro face image to a 3D volume that already exists. This scenario can come up when a doctor's already taken a 3D image with some soft tissue, of course, and then has taken also a pro face image at a later time. Therefore, Romexis hasn't had a chance to automatically apply the pro face image, and now you have to. All right, let's get right down to it. So here we go, I have Romexis open, and I already have my ProFace image and my 3D volume. You see the ProFace image is right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click my 3D volume and open that up. All right, now I'm gonna go down to the bottom left-hand side and go to my ProFace and Surface tab. I'm just gonna click on that now. And once I'm in my ProFace and Surface tab, what I wanna do is go to my 3D rendering, what I just rotated, I'm gonna click on the wrench, and I'm gonna make this a soft tissue view. All right, now once I have that soft tissue view selected, I'm gonna rotate that so it's facing me, okay? And then I'm gonna come over to the side and I'm gonna click on the fitting tab. Okay, when I click on the fitting tab, I am going to select to take a snapshot of that exact view. All right, that gives me a snapshot view up top. You can't see it right now. I'm going to move the ProFace view away. So there we go. We have a snapshot view of the soft tissue and that ProFace scan. Now, just in case your ProFace scan isn't already in there, you can click on the Add ProFace image, highlight your image, and add it to the view. Now, mine's already there, so we're going to keep working. Now, what I'm going to do is click to highlight the soft tissue view, and then I'm going to move back over to my fitting bar and click Add to Before Group. Okay, it's that blue button you see right there. Now I'm going to come over and click and highlight the actual pro face image, and this is where things get interesting. I can come back over to my fitting tab, click to draw my after group, and what I'm going to do now is just kind of drag and paint certain parts of that actual pro face image that coincide with the soft tissue that I can see on my other image. Now I'm not going to use the chin because as you can see, the soft tissue of the actual 3D scan is picking up the chin cup that's used during positioning, so that wouldn't be a good match. Now once I've highlighted certain areas that have common traits with my 3D scan, I'm gonna move the ProFace scan as close as I can to line it up to that 3D image. Um, you don't have to be exact here, just somewhat close, okay? And then you can stop moving it and come back over to fitting and click on fit after to before. Now this is where the computer is gonna go and automatically look at those areas of similarity and fit the ProFace image right over the 3D volume. So we hit OK when it's finished, and then we'll save overlay. Okay, once we have saved the overlay, we can come back to Explorer view, and we can go ahead and click to activate our ProFace image that we've taken, and there you go. The ProFace is laid over the X-ray. Now it looks better if you go to just a regular X-ray view and come away from that soft tissue view, now we can see the actual anatomy lying under the ProFace image, and if we get an outline, we can see that blue represents where our ProFace is overlaying the 3D model, and it's lined up perfectly. All right, so this is how you manually align a ProFace image to a 3D volume. Enjoy.